Hello everybody, welcome to PE at Home with Mr. Holmes. Today we're going to look at some rolling skills for year one and two. Hope everybody's keeping well. What are you going to need for today? Well, you're going to need a small ball to roll with. I've got my cricket ball here. Later on, if you want to make things a bit easier, if it's too challenging for you, you can move to a larger ball, as I've got one of these ready to show you later. You're also going to need five objects, which we're going to be using as targets to roll our balls towards. I've got some objects here, I'll just show you quickly. I've got a plant pot, I've got a Norwich City Garden Gnome, I've got my bicycle helmet, I've got a cone, and I've got a roll of masking tape. Any five objects you want. Now of course, the smaller the object, the harder it's going to be. The larger the object, the easier it's going to be. So you can easily make it harder or easier, depending on how easy you're finding the activity. Try and make it challenging for yourself. If you're hitting every time, make the objects a bit smaller. Now space, again, if you can come out to the garden, that would be wonderful. If not, find a, a large, safe space in your house. The balls will be staying on the ground today, so it should be a nice, safe activity for you. Before we go into the activity, just a couple of key points you want to remember when we're doing our rolling. Choose which hand you're going to roll the ball with, and then the opposite foot you want to point forwards. So if I'm right-handed, I'm going to point my left foot forwards, which I'll move back a bit to make sure you can see, and I'm pointing my toes in the direction that I want the ball to go. Then I'm going to lean nice and low. I'm not going to kneel down, I'm still standing, but make sure I'm pointing those toes, and then I'm going to look at the object, I'm going to go through nice and low, and I'm going to end up pointing my fingers towards the target as well. I'm going to set up the game and I'll be, be right back. Welcome back everybody. Here I've set up my five objects and I've put them at different distances from my starting point which is going to be a golf club over in the corner of the garden which I'm going to stand behind and I've spread them out nicely. Um, in this game I'm going to roll my ball towards the targets. If I hit one I'm going to collect it and take it back to my starting point. If I miss though I'm going to have to redo that attempt and see how many goes it takes me to complete all five targets. Let's see how I get on. Now I missed the garden gnome on that try, so do you think I'm going to collect the gnome and bring it back? No, I'm just going to have another go and see if I can hit it this time. Now I hit the garden gnome on that attempt, so I'm going to pick it up, yep, I'm going to pick it up, I've now had two goes, I'm going to take it back, see if I can hit the other four objects. Miss that one. Always remember we're pointing our toes, we're pointing our fingers, and we've got the opposite foot forwards. One more to go now, just the bike helmet. Finding that one difficult, how could I change the ball to make it a bit easier? Yeah, just go to a larger ball. I'm going to try my larger ball now. And I hit it first time. So we've said about changing the ball. How else do you think we can make the activity harder or easier? Now you can move the objects further away or closer to you. You can make the objects you're trying to hit bigger or smaller. There's lots of things you can do to try and make this game right for you. So, I hope you have fun. Good luck. Remember what we've said. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.